Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I talk a lot about Battlegrounds on this channel and it's not because I love it, because quite honestly, I'm uh, not the biggest fan of Battlegrounds. I just, um, I find it to be too stressful and most of the time when I win, it's because I have a better roster and maybe other people who have um, more reason to have egos in this game than I do will look at that and be like, and I'm just better. But I often win, and I think I only won because I have a better roster. I bet you this person's skills are way better than mine. They are just essentially uh, playing from behind from the get-go. And so, you know, it can be... I can feel guilty for winning Battlegrounds matches against people who just don't have as good a roster. Maybe they've been playing the game as long enough. Obviously, they don't have access to the same resources that I have as somebody that makes revenue off of playing this game and posting content every day. But... Kabam has made a goal to say, look, we're not just going to wait until the end of the season to punish players who cheat in Battlegrounds. We are going to uh, do our best to essentially uh, catch the cheaters and do sweeps of cheating a few times a season. And there's still, at the time of recording this, about 24 days left. So, obviously, there is over three weeks worth of time left, and we have... So much motivation this month to push ourselves in Battlegrounds to get more points for the Alliance, get more points for ourselves. I know people who, in the first few days of this new season, already push their accounts to get all the milestones for both the solo and then obviously contributing max points to the Alliance event that they could. That's crazy. Kind of impressive. Did not see that coming. And essentially... The vision is to just get all the rewards you can, which makes sense. That's the whole point of the game in pretty much all game modes. But sometimes I get um, sent images that I think are both infuriating and sometimes you just have to laugh. And that brings us from this screen to what I'm going to darken and then show us back up to my man Kamikaze Turtle, who in theory was gifted a great matchup. Anytime somebody doesn't ban Archangel, and then you get to just parry heavy a defender, that's usually a recipe for what I like to call guaranteed 50,000 plus points in your overall score. He lost 0.9% health, and in 25 seconds, he put up 52,763 points. Now, I would argue that probably 99% of the time, this should result in an automatic win. He could not have done anything better in my eyes, and I'm sure in his eyes, he agrees. But when you fight somebody who uses a one-star Scarlet Witch against a six-star, I'm sure most likely rank five, at least rank four, Rentra, and they knock them out in six seconds, to score, what, is 55,000 points perfect? So you're 505 points away from a perfect score? 100% health, one hit. And, oh, by the way, this is Vibranium 3. Whew. Now look, usually I'm against showing specific accounts, but... In this case, I'd be furious. And I would hope that Kabam would continue their goal of sweeping through these kind of things. And I mean, every detection system that Kabam has should show this is impossible. Sometimes I get sent images and I think, well, you know, maybe they're just a really good player with Gambit. Maybe they're just a really good player with Hawkeye. Just because you maybe don't see how this could be a good fight doesn't mean it couldn't be, but this is literally impossible. The only way this would be possible is if the roles were reversed and a six star was fighting a one star. And even then, it might take more than six seconds to defeat them because they're kind of steroided up in the way that Battlegrounds handles defenders and their increase in PI, health, attack, etc. So, look, is it happening as much as it used to? I don't think so. I think Kabam has done some good things regarding cheater detection in Battlegrounds, but clearly there are still people 
who are mocking this system. And so Kabam needs to continue to be vigilant so that screenshots like this don't end up coming to my inbox more often than they should. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.